about 7:38 mark of the first half onward. Um, it was great. How were you able to maintain the lead once you got it? I mean, what was the plan to sort of protect that? I think we we uh, maintained the lead by just taking good shots, and uh, we really were uh, together defensively, and we were just helping each other rebound, and everybody was trying to get in there and get get some uh, boards, and uh, we did a good job of just helping each other out. When you got stops defensively, and you were really able to push the ball down the court, uh, right down their throats, basically, it didn't seem like that they were prepared for your speed and athleticism in the open court. Would you say that's accurate? Yeah, I mean it's hard to prepare for pace. Um, we knew that they only had five or, s or seven or eight guys, um, and playing against us, you got to have more than that because we play really fast and we move the ball well and play together well. So it, throughout a, a 40 minute game, you're, you're just going to get tired, and the, uh, the multiple paint touches making them guard every possession eventually just was just like body blows in a boxing fight. We just kept trying to fight. You guys felt disrespected at all by not being ranked yet with all the, all the better play that you guys have had in the 10 months? Um, I wouldn't say that we feel disrespected. Uh, it's um, it, we, Buzz gives us a good job of just focusing on the next game and the next day, and uh, we're just gonna just keep trying to win. You know, we're not really worried about accolades or or uh, being ranked or anything. I think that. The, the, every time we're underdogs, you know, we, we, we keep playing hard, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to keep playing for each other play hard. We play for one another and really don't care who gets the shot. We just want everybody to do well. Was there any talk with the team with Grayson Allen not playing? Obviously, that's a good chance for them, but was there any talk amongst you guys about that? Um, not really, because even without Grayson, they're a really talented team. They got some great players. Um, Luke played really well. Jason Allen all around, they played well. So, I mean, Grayson is a blow to them, but at the same time, I think our preparation was we're preparing for Grayson to play also because he can't go over it. So. Open to eight. ACC with a huge win like this, what does this do for confidence moving forward in the conference play? Um, it's, it's a good win, but every game in ACC is hard, so you can't dwell on this one and just keep going up and down. We just, we just got to be ready at 12 o'clock tonight to move on. It seemed like they really had trouble handling you guys in the open court when you got stopped defensively. Uh, did it seem like they just didn't realize how ath athletic and fast you guys were out there until maybe it was too late? Um, I mean, we have really versatile guys, so... For example, when anybody gets the rebound, they can bring it up. So I think everybody being able to bring it up gives us a lot of options and all that. So when we play fast, it's hard to stop us. You guys uh, closed the season really strong last year, and obviously you're off to a great start this year. Uh, what's the confidence level right now? And, uh, and you know, you guys got a grind coming up, but you got to feel pretty good after that one. Yeah, I mean, it's a big win, but uh, like I said earlier, um, at 12 o'clock tonight, we just got to get rid of it. Uh, got to get ready to work tomorrow and just learn from the goods and the bads from today and just try to get better. The rewards of Buzz's boot camp and, and having to earn everything and all of that? Uh, definitely uh, the boot camp, games like Michigan where you're down 16, mm -hmm. adversity hits in, you got to just stick with it and just keep on going. Just like in boot camp, you got to make that sprint when things go wrong. And coach has just been preaching to us and we win, so it's working, so everybody wants to buy in when you win. So we just got to just keep on listening to what he's saying. And he's wandered everywhere he's went, so we just got to keep listening and playing for each other. Are you guys seeing that all of this stuff that he's got you doing is paying off now? I mean, does it, it, it make sense in games like this? Well, definitely because it, help, it, also, it helps with their pace, the boot camp and stuff like that. We want to do everything fast, everything hard, and just play, do everything for each other. And when someone passes out or something like that, you got to pick them up and just keep on running and just keep on going at it. And that's how you got to do in games like this. And we just kept on doing that from start to finish. Pace kind of makes up for that. I mean, both, uh, first we just focus on getting rebounds. Obviously, we know that we're small, we're like six five and all that stuff. I mean, our practices are just rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. We yell that for rebounding, and we know that when we get a rebound, we can get out and get layups and transition. So our focus today, as always, is rebounds, and we kind, of, we kind of did that. Justin, you guys, they hadn't, they gave up the most points they've given up all season. You guys shot the best against them that any team had shot in all season. What enabled you guys to have so much success offensively? Uh, I think it was just our mindset um, coming into the, uh, our game plan. 
our practices, it was just make sure to stay attacked. And I think everybody that was on the floor was in attack mode. And uh, that's how we got easy shots. You had a tough shooting night the last couple games. Uh, what was your mindset coming in here? Had you lost any confidence? And uh, what was the difference today? Uh, no, uh, going into a slump like that, you can't lose confidence. You just, you got to keep shooting. And uh, that was the game. That was my game plan. I mean, just keep shooting, stay in attack mode. And, uh, Thank God that it you know, worked out well. Here last season, now Duke, uh, you know, has this become a team that you know, an arena that you don't want to play the Hokies in? Well, I don't know. Um, I know that we've lost a lot too. I think what it speaks to is the groundswell of support of the Hokies. I don't know that that would have anything to do with us. Um, I think that the support and the genuineness of the support. Um, which that starts at the administrative level, you know, and that starts with the ticketing office, that starts with the marketing office. Uh, I, I'm just trying to do the best I can to help our kids. I don't have anything to do with who comes to the game, but we're we're humbled by the support and grateful for it. I know, I don't know if this is something you can quantify or not, but how much of a different animal were they without Grayson? Well, I think they're a completely different team. The one thing that uh, Norm, they were asking me on radio, like, well, how do you prepare? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Because every game we watch, he's one of the better perimeter players in the country. And so uh, I think they had 10 days off. So how are they going to play? What adjustments? Um, are there going to be new plays, et cetera? I, I don't know how to prepare for that. you know. And so we were very open with our guys on, is he going to play? If he doesn't play, how does it change? I don't know. <clears throat> But leading up until this point, this is the packet of information relative to the scouting report that we're going to give you. Coach, you talked about playing a full 40 minutes. And do you feel like you guys did that today? And how did you guys do that today? Well, the first thing I would say is I think that we started better than we had the previous two games. Not only offensively, I thought we started better as far as our mentality and defensively. And I thought that there were gaps where the sustainability was better. Um, I don't think that we're to the point that we've played 40 minutes, but I don't know that any coach would say that, you know, in game 13, that, yeah, that was, that's perfect. Like, we, I think that we have a long way to go, and the weight of this game is the same as the weight of our next game. But well, how important was the pace, just keeping that fast yeah. pace throughout the game? Yeah, I, I thought, uh, good question. I think it's really important, specific to how we play. Um, and what is it that we can do and what tweaks is it what tweaks are there that we can make that engage our guys physically so that that pace uh, is longer so that that pace um, keeps our rhythm I think we're just we're, we're, I think we're a rhythmic team and no matter what the opponent is doing what is it that we can do uh, that keeps our pace there I thought our pace was much much better on the defensive side of the ball, do you feel like other than Luke Kennard, you did things to make it a tough shooting a day for a lot of their players? I was just hoping he didn't score 50. <laughs> I mean, how good is he? Um, and the other thing, I, I, I don't read anything once we get to conference, but I think 21 is really good. Because I think I think part of the reason, and I'm not coaching their team, I think one of the reasons why they're number one offensively in the country relative to efficiency is 21 is so good at making decisions with the ball in his hands, and then he does such a great job on the offensive glass. And I was just as concerned with him in some respects as I was five. So just from a philosophical standpoint with what you've been teaching these kids for the last three years, how good is it for them to get this victory? Well, I, I, I tell, I have said this since I've been here, it's not a, an original quote. It's just how I was raised. True confidence can only come from your work. And so um, I'm not very good at being Pollyanna. I think uh, even you guys probably know that. But you have to be accountable for your work. And I think it's just human nature to want to be rewarded. I think what we have to be careful of is in this process, uh, your reward can't be specific to winning or losing because you're going to have both. Um, the, the word to me is, are we striving relative to being the best version of ourselves? And that's, that's what I think has transpired specific 
to the time that we've been here is there's more acceptance and a better comprehension level of it's not just game day. It's, okay, what are we doing tomorrow? And what are we doing the next day? And are we better? Are we striving in that, in that realm? 